Today, I've been invited to see the last remaining clothing factory in the world's first industrial city, Private White VC, a premium menswear brand with proud roots right here in Manchester. Every single item of clothing that these guys make has been handcrafted inside this 150-year-old factory. And there's some famous people that wear their clothes that you might recognize too, Tom Hardy, Daniel Craig, and even David Beckham. Hey, hey mate. mate, how are you? Welcome to Private White. Thank you. Come in. Wow. Look at this. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? I was not expecting something like this when I knocked on your little red door. Yeah, well, this is the uh, this is our flagship store right on the uh, entrance of our factory here in the heart of Manchester. It's a very, very cool place. Everything that we sell is made here in Manchester, all sourced locally. Uh, we do everything from you know fine gauge knitwear to denim, footwear. We do jersey sweats. Back in the day when, when this area was dubbed as Cottonopolis. Cottonopolis, we, we, yeah. We specialised in cotton raincoats. Uh, but now we do absolutely everything. What's the plan today then? What are we going to do? We're going to take you through the whole process from start to finish, from sheep to shop, as we like to say. Nice. Um, and we are making a special garment just for you. But to begin with, we're going to start off in the design studio. So we'll see what Amy's got in store. And I can't wait to show you around. I can't wait to see you around. Before we go, though, can't help but notice the Victor references. Victor, a comic book from the I think, 70s and 80s, but I used to get this delivered when I was a kid. But this is a really particularly special one. So this is the edition from 1987, which tells an illustrative um, interpretation of what Grandpa Jack, or Great Grandpa uh, Jack, did in the, in the First World War. He was awarded the Victoria Cross for his heroics in 1917. Yeah, in short, he was crossing a river under enemy fire, dived into the water, tied a telephone wire to himself and pulled the men and munitions to safety. But what a legacy Private White has left. It's yeah. unbelievable, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, it's a very special place. You know, it's totally unique um, for the region and for the country. Um, and we make great products, and obviously we need a shop that is befitting of the quality and the caliber of what we do. Right, shall we go and see Amy then? Let's do it. Let's do that. So this is a design room? Yes. Hello, Amy. Hi. What's your role in amongst all of this? So I work with James doing all the design and development for the ranges. So we go from okay. concept through to silhouette picking, fabric picking, and then hand it over to production. I feel like I'm in an investigation room with a detective. You know, they've got everything up on the wall trying to work out who killed Dave. Yeah, we got a bit like that. So what's this? What are we looking at in front of us here? So this is the colour palette for our new collection, which will be autumn, winter 23. We took inspiration from L.S. Lowry because he's a local Salford artist and he only actually painted in five colours, so we used all his five colours as our colour board. So this is a bit of a sneak preview then, because this is a range that hasn't been released yet. Yeah, it hasn't, so coming up soon. And you must get excited. You know when you see your designs being worn by like famous people, mm -hmm. how does that feel? It feels good, yeah. We recently did one with Brian May, so... From we Queen? Yeah. No way. Yeah, we designed his tour outfit, so he's on stage wearing them. And I know, I don't want to embarrass you, but you, you like Tom Hardy a little bit, I do. You? <laughs> and he's, he's worn your clothes. He has, yeah. So how was that for you to see? Yeah, very very good, I got a picture behind my desk. <laughs> Have you really? Yeah. Can we go and get a look at that? Can we go and get a look at the picture behind the desk? Yeah. Okay, so this must be the cutting room. Yeah, it is. This is the cutting room, the top floor, the penthouse as we like to call it. <laughs> and this is where all the fabric is, uh, is laid up, it's cut, it's divided and prepared for production. We love it up here, it's a really, really evocative, big, big space. Yeah, it's uh, massive. But let's uh, have a look around and let's, um, I'll introduce you to some of the guys. Yeah, cool. So you must be Hazel. Oh, hi, yeah. Hello. So You're what's right? going on here then, Hazel? What are you up to? Um, it's the linings for the pea coat. Oh, this is going to be in the coat that I'm going to get. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Well. Oh, pea coats are amazing. So how long have you been here? I'm going into my 14th year. 14th year. Yeah. Wow, I guess you must have made a lot of friends over the 14 years that you've worked here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have. I've got my husband downstairs, which I met here. You met your husband here? <laughs> yeah. And he still works here? <laughs> yeah. Where is he? Downstairs on the press. <laughs> I thought he meant under the... <laughs> no, it's not under the table. No converting in work hours. I wasn't asking about <laughs> converting, <laughs> Hazel. Wow. No, yeah, met my husband here. That's um, nice. He's like a family. Is it? Oh, yeah, definitely. There's good people working here, isn't Oh, there? yeah. Yeah. And I think that makes a big difference, doesn't it? Of course it? it does, yeah. My work from the first day of starting, even now, I love it. 
like it's my first day. The boss isn't listening, you know, he's not no, here. No, he's not. Have to no, say no, that. no, but it's true. I believe you. Hey, Hello. there you are. Here I am. Found it here. Yeah. So here we're on the uh, on the factory floor, so this is where a lot of the magic happens. I've just so seen a sign that says this is where the magic happens exactly. outside the door. That's it. So this is where everything is sewn, stitched, assembled, hand finished. Um, down the middle section, you'll see your peacoat with uh, with our with our boy Cole. Oh, is he making my peacoat now? He is indeed. Right, can we go and have a word? I know you're pretending to work here, Carl. You're not actually getting your hands dirty there, are you? Well, I'm trying my best. No, I know you do. So you're the factory manager. I certainly am. What does that role involve? What do you do? So it's a pretty broad role. I tend to do a lot of my days today, um, from keeping the 100-year-old building still standing. Yeah. So how long does it take, generally, from start to finish, from the design process to me putting on a coat in the changing room? So the design process might be two years in advance, but once it kind of comes into my world. For, say, 100 peacoats, might be a four-week turnaround. It's staggering to me just how much work and how many processes go into each individual yeah, item. Yeah, there's a lot of different steps, and even like with the machinery, each machinery you see around does, does a very different thing, so it's important to maintain them all, keep the staff going, yeah. Amazing, and I love this material. So is it time to go and see my brand new coat yet? Not just yet. Before we do that, we're going to head to the archive, which is where all the inspiration comes from. Okay. I think I found my favourite room in the factory. Yeah. I love it in here. Oh, it's amazing. This is people are always blown away when they come to a space like this because it's the, the, the sheer scale, the size, um, and the variety of, of stuff that you've got here. It's just mind blowing. So this is just a room filled with all your old designs dating way back. Yeah, it's, it's not one of everything. It's one of everything of interest that I've kept. But you know, yeah. a typical bloke, I love collecting, hate throwing stuff out. You mean you're a hoarder? Yeah, big time. That's yeah. what that means. Big time. Yeah. But we've got you know some really really special pieces from you know trench coats from the 1940s to you know diving suits. Yeah, we've done everything in this place over the years. I love it in here. I feel like a, a little bit like a, a little boy in a fancy dress shop. You know, think, I want to wear that, I want to wear that, I want to wear that. You want it all. Yeah. But what I really want, please can we have a look at my brand new peacoat now? Let's go. Thank you, mate. Well, there you go. That concludes our tour. Thank you so much for yeah. showing me around. Do you like James. it? I've absolutely loved it. I've never been behind the scenes of a clothing factory before. Well, that's because the, the, there aren't any. You know, we are unfortunately, virtually the only ones left. Sad state of affairs, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, But is. you guys are doing great stuff. And what became apparent, the more I looked around, the more I spoke to people, was just how much love and attention, like, goes into the tiniest little bit of detail. Yeah. But, you know, putting a huge, huge effort in and making great product here in, uh, here in the heart of Manchester in a wonderfully enchanting place. And I'd just invite everyone watching to come down and, and see for themselves. So people can come down and yeah, have a little definitely. tour? Yeah, We're open five days a week. Um, as I said, we invite them all to come in, take the tour, and uh, you know, exit by the gift shop. Well, we're in the gift shop, so to speak, and I spy a little gift over there. Is that my peacoat? That is, that is your, um, your brand new Melton peacoat. Cloth woven just up the road um, in a little town called Delft. Look at this. Great piece. Well, shall I try it on? I wish you would. Okay, I'll go try it on. I'll bring it out. No peeking. Oh, the big reveal. What are you saying? I think you're looking superb. You're not, you're not my type, but you look great. Like Bond? Definitely. I feel like Bond. Should we get it wrapped up for you? No, 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 no. This is too good. People need to see this immediately. So Done. I'm going to get off. Thank you so much, Absolute man. Absolute pleasure. I'm converted. Love this place. See you, mate.